I'm Becky, one half of the Sorority Girls, and Kelsey, the other half of Team TSG, is away from the office, and there's this huge DIY project that's been on the to-do list for way too long, so my plan is to surprise her with it when she comes back. What the Morning! Good morning! <laughs> <laughs> this video is sponsored by The Real Real. Okay guys, so here's the lowdown. Kelsey is basically gone. She's gone for two weeks. She's out in BC doing a makeover, which you would have seen by now. But while she's gone, I'm thinking we can tackle a project without her and maybe surprise her with a makeover. Well, not so much a whole makeover, but one massive DIY project that's actually been on our list for the longest time. We just haven't got around to doing it. So I think now is the time. So what is it? Well, basically we have this boardroom that we're in right now, which you would have seen if you saw our entire loft tour. You know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna link it here for you. But we have this boardroom that's like a wing in our office and it actually has the perfect opening to be closed off with a door. Our team is expanding and it would be really nice to have a place in our office where people could go to take quiet meetings, take phone calls away from everyone else. We don't really have that at the moment and this feels like the place for that. So all it's missing is a giant door and someone to DIY it. So we're gonna have to come up with a plan that feels tackleable. Tackleable? Is that a word? Okay, let's come take a better look. All right. Danny, are you ready? Are you ready? You can help us? Yeah? High five. Oh, th thank you, thank you. Okay, this is the opening here that we wanna close off. And the good thing is that actually, all three sides of this have like a nice wood beam around it already, which make it really easy to screw anything into because it's already wood. You don't have to worry about brick as much. Still is a massive space though. So, <laughs> I don't think this whole thing needs to be a door because that's that would be a giant door. I think we just need to have a door. And I'm thinking we do it on the sliding hardware, the way I did my door in my space. So I think we do it something like that wall and then just have like panels and one of the panels slides. That's what I'm thinking. That's as far as I've gotten. <laughs> Things are going too well. Something's wrong. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I was gonna sit down and start figuring out a plan for how I can do a door system that just looks like that other wall we've already done. But then I thought, let's just check Marketplace, see if there's already some doors that are glass and like industrial style like that, that are pre-made, make my job a little easier. And then, you guys, I saw these doors and now I can't unsee them and I think I'm changing my whole plan because I'm obsessed with these doors. Let me show you a photo. <laughs> Hold on, <laughs> so smooth. Um, these are them. They're like eight feet tall arched doors with like nice frosted glass. They're so beautiful. And now like any other plan I think of just feels poopy compared to what these could be. So new plan. I think I'm gonna try and get these doors and then maybe build a wall around them. But I'm kind of thinking, I don't know man, are square panels the move anymore? Hold on, <laughs> let me show you what I was thinking first. Yeah. Okay, future me stepping in. I'm gonna let past me handle this wall plan a little bit better, which by the way, you are doing great. It's gonna turn out awesome. If you don't already know what The Real Real is, it is a website and an app where you can shop and sell designer fashion and they even have a couple retail stores as well. I was so excited when they reached out to work together because you guys know we are huge fans of shopping secondhand, but I do love to experiment with some designer pieces when I can. So The Real Real is the perfect mix of those two things. So let me show you what I picked out. The first thing is this handbag from the brand Macage. I have honestly been eyeing this for years. So when I saw it on the Real Real for a really good discount, it felt so meant to be. So now I have her. <laughs> and the second piece are these sunglasses. They are Gucci and honestly, they are a step up from a pair I currently own. Hello, I love you, you're beautiful. <laughs> You can also shop some of your other favorite brands like Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Reformation, and more at up to 90% off the retail price. And you don't have to worry about authenticity because The Real Real has a team of experts who authenticate every item sold on the site so you know everything on there is real. Real. And if you're looking to sell any of your designer items, there's multiple ways to do that. You can book a free at-home pickup with one of their luxury managers. You can ship your item to them 
or you can drop it off at any one of the Real Real retail stores. So if you're interested in the Real Real, you can click the link in the description to learn more about shopping and selling with the Real Real and get $25 off your first order with them. Okay, I'm gonna pass it back to you, which is me, past me. Take it away. <laughs> I think I just, I, I can't tell if I made more work or less work for myself. I can't tell either because the door is like already done. So that's like great. But now I'm cutting arches and it's never easy. Well, got some thinking to do. Good morning friends. Okay, it's door day. I'm gonna go pick up the doors, the massive beautiful arch doors and bring them back to the office. I just turned the wipers on. Wish me luck. It's always fun getting big things in the car. Yeah, I know. Look at these. I know. Do you know what? It's great that they're so thick. Yeah. Because we're dealing with like a thick wall. I know. <laughs> I know. Wow. Winning. Oh, it's going to be so cute. Guys, hype me up more. Yeah. <laughs> Those are going to look sweet. Oh, So my plan to build this wall is to make two big frames like this and the door is gonna hang in the middle of them. So I'm gonna start by building the two big frames and then we'll figure out the little windows later. <laughs> but I'm basically building this all out of two by fours because it's a really sturdy piece of wood and these doors are heavy and I wanna make sure it's hung well and not gonna fall down. Yeah, yeah, math. Okay, frames are up and screwed in, but it's feeling really good. So, just have to put the doors in. I think it's going to work. Wow, one half. <laughs> tomorrow okay I'm back and it's somehow hotter than yesterday and I put on more clothes than yesterday I wasn't thinking anyways flexi let's do it so instead of using traditional glass which is really heavy expensive and fragile we're gonna be using plexiglass we picked up two pieces of pre-cut flexi and screwed them into our frame yeah baby beautiful yeah baby, yeah, baby. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Moving on. Becky. Sorry. <laughs> Whatever was in that salad. <laughs> it's like talking. I feel so annoying right now. So, <laughs> thanks. Stunning. It looks great. So now the question is, like, how much do we match this? Like, do we cover up the glass here with drywall and like have the window go from here to here? I feel like to make it cohesive, probably, yeah. I think so. 
Next up is drywall. I think drywall is the way to go versus just covering it with like plywood or something. Drywall would be nice. So going to the hardware store again to pick up sheets of that. Never been done before. Iconic magic. <laughs> Where all the, what's the Gaga quote? She's like talking about someone. And she's like, oh, amazing. Never been done before. That's you right now. She's yeah. talking about you the whole time. Yeah, this technique specifically. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing. This is how we know what size arch our drywall needs to be so the doors fit. Okay, this is a drywall knife. This is how I think I'm gonna cut my arch. Okay, it's covering my line, you know? Oh. Yeah? That's like really smart. Let's see if it fits, and if it does, I'll just do it. I don't know. I think I need to go to the left a little more. That looks really good though. Do we just need to trim this side like a small? Okay, that's easy. So easy. Oh my god, hello. I have not checked in with you guys like at all today. That's just because it's been crazy. This is a visual representation of what's been going on in my brain, just like a million numbers. But it all makes sense to me. I need to get things down on paper or else it, it just need to. Or in this sense, iPad, it, this helps keep me organized even though it looks chaotic. But we have some really exciting developments that we finally got to at the end of today. So let me show you. We have our giant wall all drywalled, all the holes are finally covered, and it's ready to be pasted and fill all the cracks. But like, okay, this side's done, and then come inside. Oh, this is such a nice door, hold on. Can't do this one-handed. Okay, wait. <laughs> come inside, what? hello. Come inside. And the whole backside is completed too. This is what took us all day, but we have all of the drywall up and screwed in place. And looking so good! I also like can't get over how good this plexi looks. I keep forgetting this is even a window because it's so crystal clear, but it looks really good. Another major discovery we had too, now that all of the walls have been fully sealed, is that it's actually quite soundproof in there. When you're in there, it's really hard to hear what's out here and vice versa, which is what we were hoping because we wanted a quiet boardroom experience. And I just wasn't sure with the plexi if that would happen, but I think it is. It's really good in there. So anyways, next I'm gonna take some drywall tape and just go over all of the seams so we can get ready to put the drywall compound on it which means we're close to being finished. Ah. Okay, Kelsey comes back tomorrow, Monday morning, and it's obvious at this point, I'm not gonna get this wall entirely finished before then, but that's okay. I actually think it's nice because then I can let Kelsey have a say in the color and final finish of the wall. But before tomorrow, there is one thing I really do wanna get done and that is adding all the little faux window panes in the two side windows. I'm gonna do it out of the timbre. We have so much extra timbre around the office. I'm gonna make little, um, you know, muntins to go in these windows. And if I can get that done today, I think we're close enough that you get what the wall is going to be. And I think the surprise will still be good. Of course, it's gonna be, we built a wall. We put up a wall with doors and windows. I hope it goes well. <laughs> okay, let's go.
Okay, here we go. Okay guys, check her out. Oh my God. It's so bad. All the windows have been framed out. Like, look how pretty. Obviously, there's still a lot of raw drywall, but I can see the vision. The bones are there, and they're beautiful. And I think this is where I leave it, where I leave you until tomorrow. When is the reveal? <laughs> okay, it's Monday morning, and I think Kelsey just pulled up. <gasps> Wait, is she here? Are you waving at her? Hello, is she here? She is, she's not getting out of the car, though. So we were just waiting around to stall her, but she didn't get out of the car. Do you want to watch and see if she gets out of her car? <laughs> what the f Morning! Good morning! <laughs> Whoa! Oh! Wow, it's so cool! Oh my god! Wow. Hi, second camera. <laughs> You couldn't give me any warning, like I did not do much. No, that wouldn't be any fun. <laughs> it's so pretty though. It's I'm so glad you like so it. Obviously, I can't believe you did freaking arch, you would. Well, I mean, you'll see. I This was not the plan either. What? But then we found these doors and we were like, hi, morning. Hi, good morning. We could it not. Good work. Good work. <laughs> wow. Okay, good night, bye, thank you. Bye. <laughs> okay, so speaking of that. Wait. So I have to go literally film a makeover in like three days this week in my own house. Okay. Yeah. So are you handing this over to me? So I, yeah. You want to finish it? <laughs> yeah, I can finish it. <laughs> Ooh, no pressure. Just some paint. We haven't figured out what paint color, so. No, I was going to let you pick that. I feel like I made a lot of choices on my own with this, so. Yeah. You could take it away. It just needs some more patching in areas and sanding. But yeah. Take it for it. Thanks. I should go on vacation more often. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's the next day, and it seems that I am left with the task of finishing this wall unit. It's very beautiful. The team did an amazing job. I'm so proud of them. I know it's not easy to like erect something like this. So. Mad props, but um, I'm gonna get my game face on because I really wanna bang this thing out. We have a very busy week, so I'm gonna try to do this in one, maybe two days, we'll see. I need to drill a hole for some cords that need to go through the wall. Then I need to check for primer. Don't really know what I'm gonna do on the outside yet. We're gonna start with prime, see how that looks, because prime is basically white, which is the color of what the whole, the whole office out there is, so we'll start there. But I do need to go pick up some sandpaper and um, definitely some primer. Let's hit up the hardware store. Probably should have bought an extra tube of caulk, but we are going to have to make this one do. So I bought one of these sanding grip things. I don't know why we didn't have one already, but I think this is gonna be game changer. It's kinda needed for a job like this, right? Maybe I'll get it done in one day. <laughs> Not even close. So today um, I've done caulking and sanding. Today is paint, paint, paint. And I'm a little nervous. I don't know if I chose the right colors, but we're just gonna go for it. So first up is prime and I already got paint. I already got paint on my dress. How? How? How?
this is not about to be a little garbage. <laughs> We're just afraid that the doors look kind of like yellowy green. Cause it's it's not the same color. It's hard to tell on camera, but yeah, we don't want the doors to look dingy. I think I'm gonna get a different color. And back to the office. Um, if you guys don't hate me too much, we're gonna leave it like this until the end of the video where I'll share the final color, how it all looks with you. I love we'll see how this goes. I love the trolling. Wow! Ooh, I can like this. We don't know. Will we like this? We don't know. We don't know. Debs, close your eyes and come over here. Don't look, but come over here. Okay, don't bump into the table. <laughs> okay, what do you think of the color we chose? Go ahead. This one? Is this <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, you have to bleep all these words because you're saying the color. And I, oh. Yeah, I like it. Do you? Yeah. Are you lying to us? No, why would I? <laughs> It's a good question. <laughs> I like it, it's different. We don't have anything like that here. Fact. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Alright. See you later. Bye. <laughs> okay guys. Justin and Nick have not seen the wall yet. I Oh, I like it, but they're gonna come over right now. How did you guys paint it so quickly? It feels like it's it was not, like 10 minutes. It's not bad. <laughs> okay. I'll just follow right now. <laughs> I guess we count down. Whenever you want. Okay. Three, two, one, go! Whoa! Oh, nice! I honestly That's did really, not expect this color. Yeah, this is really nice. It's really different <laughs> yeah. from like the other rooms. Yeah, I really like the color. Yeah, this is like nice. a and it's like so different from everything else, you know? Yeah. Like it stands out, I like that. It's a pop of color. I'm honestly having anxiety, I hope Becky likes it. It's, it's nice to go with this. Yeah, now yeah. we need to bring more of it in, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck, Rach. <laughs> it's not a paint day if you don't get it on your pants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you need to apply to this. I really, I really thought I was gonna be good today. I woke up today and I chose paint violence. And oh my God, I made it worse. It's little flicky flicks, look at that. It's from the paintbrush when you just go. Oh my God, I love this squirt so much. Why did I do that? I'm gonna go get naked now. When you're a DIYer, all your clothes are paint clothes, let's be honest. To be honest, just really glad I didn't wear my Gucci scarf today from the real real. I was gonna wear it as my top. That would have been a mistake. Sorry, definitely sorry. Okay, I think I'm done and I'm ready for you guys to see what this looks like in full color. Whoa, wait, that doesn't look right. That's better. And big ups 
to Becky and Rachel for their work on this wall. I know it was not easy. Also, I was trying to get Becky's reaction before she went on vacation, but that didn't happen. So make sure you're following us on TikTok if you wanna see her reaction. And if you guys have not already subscribed to our channel, please consider doing so. It means a lot to us as we complete these DIY projects and make these episodes for you every single week. And before you go, make sure you check out the link in our description to get $25 off your first real, real purchase. I got these little guys, some Saint Laurent Sunnies. I think they're so cute. And um, they make me look cooler than I am. See you guys next time, bye!